The 2014 Mercedes-Benz E350 Cabriolet makes every moment work to your advantage. Its 302 horsepower V6 and agility control suspension react instantly to balance response with refinement. The dramatically new design of the new 2014 Cabriolet commands attention from the sweeping headlamps all the way to the sleek tail. A colored key cover with dome fairings behind each rear seat concealed the lower soft top with seamless style. The Cabriolet has three layers. For four seasons, exquisitely crafted from three layers nearly a full inch thick, the rich fabric power soft top is designed to provide couple-like silence in the cabin. Large windows, precise tailoring, and a choice of four color deliver sleek style with the top up. In just 20 seconds, it vanishes into the trunk, leaving the generous 8.8 .8 cubic feet of cargo space. Tailored luxury ripped muscles with a drag coefficient as low as 0.29, the E-Class Cabriolet slipped through the wind virtually unnoticed. With the soft top open, the finely crafted cabin comes with elegant style. True ground touring convertibles, the E-Class Cabriolet extends their gracious refinement to all four passengers. Rich leather in a wide new array of colors is double stitched and hand fitted to each of the four individually contoured seats. Hand polished burrow walnut or black ash wood trim of your choice could be applied throughout the cabin. So here's the remote for the car. On the remote, we have uh, the unlock button, trunk release, and the lock button. As for the panic button, as requested by some of my subscribers, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the uh, activation of the panic button again in this video. All you have to do is hold the panic button down for a few seconds and the alarm will sound. Let's go ahead and show it to you. There's the alarm activated and to turn it off, simply press the panic button one more time to turn it off. The color of the Cabriolet we're looking at right now is called Polar White. Let's go ahead and go inside and take a closer look at the interior. As you can see, the door is currently unlocked right now. To lock the door, all you have to do is touch on the outer side and to unlock, put your hand behind the handle and it'll unlock automatically. All this being said, you have to have the remote control in your pocket or purse or somewhere really near to the car. Here's a quick view of the interior. Interior leather is called deep sea blue silk beige leather. Also with burrow walnut wood trim. Quick view of the back seat. Let's go ahead and jump into the driver's seat now. And to start the engine, all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake and press the start button right here. And the engine is on. Let's go ahead and give it a few rests and let you guys listen to the exhaust sounds. To pop the hood, there's going to be a red lever down here. All you have to do is pull it down. This will initially open the hood. To fully open the hood, there's going to be a metal lever again down here. All you have to do is push the lever up and raise the hood. So under the 2014 Mercedes E350 Cabriolet, we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine with direct injection. The V6 engine can push out 302 horsepower and 273 pound foot of torque. It is a 7 speed automatic transmission with a new Eco Start and Stop system, which greatly saves on the gas. The Eco Start and Stop system automatically shuts the engine off at stoplights and immediately restarts the engine when we let go of the brake. With this Eco Start and Stop system, the 2014 Cabriolet gets 19 miles per gallon in the city, 28 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined, it gets 22 miles per gallon. And when it comes to speed, the Cabriolet can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.3 seconds. Now for a closer look at the front, LED headlamps and daytime running lamps. With longer life, quicker illumination, and beams that approximate daylight even more closely than Xenon headlamps. The new standard LED headlamps enhance both vision 
and visibility during nighttime driving. White LED daytime running lamps and all other front light functions are integrated within the flowing sculpture of the headlamp assembles, making the design as appealing as it is illuminating. The aggressive appearance of the AMG lower bodywork leaves no doubt that the E350 Cabriolet is geared for the power hungry. Moving over to the side, the side view mirror has built in integrated LED turn signal. Eighteen inch alloy wheels feature a new design with five pairs of spokes and a silver finish. The rear wheels and tires are wider than the front for greater acceleration grip without sacrificing steering feedback. Behind the wheels are equipped with adaptive brake technology, anti-lock braking system, and brake assist system. The redesigned LED tail lamps employed LED technology for every function and with distinctive form. Brighter than traditional bulbs, LED technology also delivers quicker illumination of the brake lamps. By offering drivers behind you more time to react, this could make a critical difference in a panic stop. The dual chrome exhaust tip adds an eye-catching point to the powerful rear end of the E350 Cabriolet. A black lower diffuser sets off the shapely dual exhaust tips, with each end highlighted by a chrome cross strut. Moving slightly over to the rear side for a closer view of the spoiler. Let's go ahead and show the top view of the car. As for the gas tank, all you have to do is make sure the car is unlocked and push it in to unlock. As simple as that. And we're back inside in the driver's seat. One very nice feature that I would like to show you right here. As you can see, the driver door is currently open and the seat belt. Notice when I close the driver door, the seat belt automatically extends towards the driver for a better access of the seat belt, which is a very nice feature. Steering wheel is all leather. Three spoke steering wheel with chrome accent. Feels very comfortable and nice. Over to the left side, we have different controls, which you can control the different display that can be displayed on the odometer here. You can see what time it is, the mileage, and you can also use these controls to control the audio radio system. Moving over to the right, we have the voice command, volume up, down, along with the telephone answering option. Behind the steering wheel, we have a standard shift paddle and here's the gear shift box to control this all you have to do is push your foot down on the brake push it up to put the car into reverse light down to put it into neutral and a heavy down to put the car into drive and to put the car into park simply press a button on the end here over to the left side behind the steering wheel we have another Shift paddle along with the windshield wiper control. Simply twist it up or down to increase or decrease the speed and press a button on the end to release the windshield washer. Pull it towards you for the high beam, up for right turn signal and down for left turn signal. Down here as the, the small knob you can see right here, this is what you use to control the steering wheel placement. You can move the steering wheel up, down, away from you or towards you. And the longer stick here is the cruise control. You can increase and decrease the speed by pushing up or down. Moving over to the side, we have an AC and heat vent, headlamps control. Way at the bottom there, we have the parking brake. Simply push that down and to release the parking brake, pull that out. Above the driver head, we have the driver sun visor with a credit card holder, along with a small mirror, and a light above, which automatically turn on and off according to the open and closure of the uh, mirror. Here's a closer look of the middle GPS and audio display. It's off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. 
and it will just take a few seconds to load here's the GPS navigation map display down here we have two AC heat vent with an analog clock in the middle audio control to turn the system on and off simply press this button and control the volume by twisting it over to the right and left you can select from radio display this display navigation and telephone it's currently in the navigation and there's the radio back to navigation on the right side we have the keypad for you to use with the phone dialing in the middle we have the hazard emer emergency light dual AC heat climate control for both passenger and driver here we have two cup holder as you can see it's surrounded by the burrow walnut wood trim which looks very nice and if we open this right here we have a ashtray with a 12 volt AC outlet charger moving down this is the universal control in which you use to control the uh, GPS display system you can move it up down right left and simply press down to select and let me demonstrate the zoom in and out function you can zoom in and out by twisting it over to the right or left over to the left side we have the different driving modes such as sport econ and manual mode when you put the car into sports mode you get a lot more power but you get a little bit decrease on the gas as you can see the S indicates that the car is in sports mode M means it's in manual mode and E for econ mode in the econ mode you get less power but you get much more mileage on the gas and for more sensitivity on the driving mode you can put the car into manual mode and use this gear shift paddle behind the steering wheel and this button is used to control the rear headrest along with the rear sun cover let me go ahead and show that to you very nice now for a closer look at the middle armrest compartment all right and way under there we have an uh, input for a USB and these two right here is the iPhone 4 torture along with an auxiliary input and a pen holder and here we have all the controls for the soft top and I'll show you how to use these controls in just a minute Marlboro Walnut wood trim on the dash glove box compartment has a lot for you to put credit card holder and more pens rearview mirror have built in universal garage door opener you can simply input your garage door codes and use these three buttons to open and close your garage doors lights control along with the SOS roadside assistant press that button and you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistance now let's go ahead and demonstrate to you how these button and lever work the black button is to close all four windows and the silver lever here is to actually open the top roof let's go ahead and lift up the silver lever all four window will roll down before it opens after just a few seconds it will start to open and it is fully open now for a closer view of the driver's side door more burrow walnut wood trim on the door we have the unlock and lock button with up to three easy readjustment of the driver's seat you can move the driver's seat forward backward up down you can also tilt the back and move the headrest up and down four power window control 
At the bottom we have the window lock button and on top we have the side view mirror control. All power also. Side door compartment with the trunk release button. Simply lift it out for a few seconds to open the trunk. Mercedes Benz door seal. Brake and gas pedal. Parking brake. To release a parking brake, simply pull that out as I showed you earlier. Let's go ahead and show you a full view of the interior with the soft top open. Multi contour seats. Looks very sporty and cool. When open, the soft top rests right under here. Nicely in the trunk. And before we go into the back seat, of course, we have to fold down the seat. As you can see, when I pull this out, the headrest lowers. And pull it out more further, the seat automatically moves forward. This gives us the entrance to go to the back. Let's go ahead and jump in now. And the seat will automatically move back. Again, I'm 5 foot 7. This gives you a better idea of how much leg space I have sitting in the back. Here's a quick view of the front from sitting in the back seat. Back here we have two more AC and heat vents. Along with another 12 volt AC outlet charger. The middle armrest compartment also give you access to the trunk. As you can see. Or you can simply use it as an armrest. Seat belt is very smooth and quiet. Power window control. Harman Kardon speakers. Here we have two more cup holders. And another button I'd like to show you right here is, as you can see, the lower button on the bottom. Again, too, we can use that to control the headrest along with the wind control. Looks very nice and sporty again. And to close the soft top, simply push the silver lever down. And it is fully closed with just a few seconds. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look in the trunk. Here's the rear view camera. Trunk is pretty spacious for a two door vehicle. If we lift this up. We have the spare tire rest right under it. And when the soft top is lowered, this is where it rests. Very neatly and nicely inside. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests for car reviews, go ahead and leave me a comment below for more future car reviews. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our Facebook page for our everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.